Hello everyone! I hope you're ready for another adventure! Because today, Wayne continues to read The Fantastic Mr. Fox. Always remember that as you go through these amazing adventures and read these outstanding stories, all you have to do is press the CC button in your YouTube link in order to follow along with the words. Now I think that Bumblebee will be perfect to join us for today's adventure. Now that Bumblebee is here, Let's jump in. The Fantastic Mr. Fox, Chapter 10. Bogus's Chicken House, Number 1. This time, we must go in a very special direction, said Mr. Fox, pointing sideways and downward. So, he and his four children started to dig once again. The work went much more slowly now, yet they kept at least great courage, and little by little, the tunnel began to grow. Dad, I wish you could tell us where we are going, said one of the children. I dare not do that, said Mr. Fox because this place I am hoping to get to is so marvelous that if I described it to you now, you would go crazy with excitement. And then if we failed to get there, which is very possible, you would die of disappointment. I don't want to raise your hopes too much, my darlings. For a long time, they kept on digging. For how long, they did not know, because there were no days and no nights down in that murky tunnel. But at last, Mr. Fox gave the order to stop. I think he said, we had better take a peek upstairs now and see where we are. I know where I want to be, but I can't possibly be sure anywhere near it. Slowly and wearily, the foxes began to slope the tunnel upwards to the surface. Up and up it went, until suddenly he came to something hard above their heads. They couldn't go up any further. Mr. Fox reached up to examine this hard thing. It's Woody, whispered, wooden planks. What does that mean, Dad? It means, unless I'm very much mistaken, that we are right beneath someone's house, whispered Mr. Fox. Be quiet while I take a peek. Carefully, Mr. Fox began pushing up one of the floorboards. The board creaked most terribly, and they all ducked down, waiting for something awful to happen. Nothing did, so Mr. Fox pushed a second board, and then, very cautiously, he poked his head up through the gap. He let out a shriek of excitement. I've done it, he yelled. I've done it first time. I've done it, I've done it. He pulled himself through the gap in the floor and started prancing and dancing with joy. Come on up, he sang out. Come up and see where we are, my darlings. What a sight for a hungry fox. Hallelujah, hooray, hooray. The four small foxes scrambled out of the tunnel and what a fantastic sight it was now met their eyes. They were in a huge shed where a whole place was teeming with chickens. There were white chickens and brown chickens and black chickens by the thousand. Bogus is chicken house number one, cried Mr. Fox. It's exactly what I was aiming at. I hit it smack in the middle. First time, isn't that fantastic? And if I may say so, rather clever. The small foxes went wild with excitement. They started running around in all directions, chasing the stupid chickens. Wait, ordered Mr. Fox. Don't lose your head, stand back, calm down. Let's do this properly. First of all, everyone have a drink of water. They all ran over to where the chicken's drinking trough was and lapped up lovingly cool water. Then Mr. Fox chose three of the plumpest hens with a clever flick of his jaws. He killed them instantly. Back into the tunnel, he ordered. Come on, no fooling around. The quicker you move, the quicker we shall have something to eat. One after another, they climbed down through the hole in the floor, and soon they were all standing once again in the dark tunnel. Mr. Fox reached up and pulled the floorboard back into place. He did this with great care. He did it so no one could tell they were ever had been moved. My son, he said, giving the three pompous hens to the biggest of his four small children. Run back with these to your mother. Tell her to prepare a feast. Tell her the rest of us will be along in a jiffy, as soon as we made a few other little arrangements. Oh wow, that's a very interesting way that we ended with the fantastic Mr. Fox. What do you think, Bumblebee? I'm interested to see what happens next too. I'll see you in the next adventure, okay? And we'll see you in the next adventure, here with Wayne Reads. Thank you for joining us and we can't wait to see you again. Bye bye